Vietnam, a land of breathtaking landscapes, rich history, and a culture that's as diverse as it is captivating. From bustling cities to serene countryside, this country has something for everyone. In this video, we'll embark on a journey through the heart of Vietnam, uncovering its hidden gems and shedding light on some fascinating facts you might not know. Vietnam, officially known as the Socialist Republic of Vietnam, is a country nestled at the eastern edge of mainland Southeast Asia. With an area of over 331,000 square kilometers and a population exceeding 100 million, it's the 15th most populous country in the world. Vietnam shares its land borders with China to the north, while Laos and Cambodia neighbor it to the west. It also boasts maritime borders with Thailand through the Gulf of Thailand, and with the Philippines, Indonesia, and Malaysia through the South China Sea. The capital of Vietnam is the bustling city of Hanoi, while the largest city, commonly known as Saigon, is officially called Ho Chi Minh City. It's a place where tradition meets modernity in the most exciting way. Vietnam's roots trace back to the Paleolithic Age, with established states dating back to the first millennium BC on the Red River Delta in the northern part of the country. The influence of Chinese dynasties shaped Vietnam's history until its first independent dynasty emerged in 939. Over the centuries, Vietnam absorbed Chinese influences through Confucianism and Buddhism, expanding southward to areas like the Mekong Delta and even conquering regions like Champa. The last imperial dynasty, the Nguyen, surrendered to France in 1883, leading to Vietnam's integration into French Indochina. Fast forward to the 20th century, Vietnam faced profound challenges, including the First Indochina War with France and, later, the infamous Vietnam War. This conflict pitted the Communist North, backed by the Soviet Union and China, against the anti-Communist South, supported by the United States. After a long and tumultuous struggle, North Vietnam emerged victorious, leading to the reunification of the country in 1975. In the aftermath, Vietnam faced its fair share of hardships. However, in 1986, the Communist Party of Vietnam initiated groundbreaking economic and political reforms, akin to the Chinese economic reform. This shift paved the way for a socialist-oriented market economy and allowed Vietnam to reintegrate into the global stage. Today, Vietnam stands as one of the fastest growing economies of the 21st century. Despite its remarkable progress, it faces challenges like corruption, censorship, environmental concerns, and human rights issues. The country continues to strive for improvements in civil liberties, freedom of the press, and religious and ethnic minority rights. Vietnam is an active member of various international and intergovernmental institutions, including ASEAN, APEC, CPTPP, the Non-Aligned Movement, OIF, and the WTO. It has even assumed a seat on the United Nations Security Council twice, further solidifying its global presence. Number 1. Snow in a Tropical Country Before we get into the snowy details, let's touch on Vietnam's climate. The country experiences a distinct monsoon season, which means plenty of sunny days, occasional rainfall, and high humidity. The temperatures hover between a comfortable 17 to 29 degrees Celsius throughout the year. It's the kind of weather that makes Vietnam a top destination for travelers seeking a tropical getaway. Now, you might be wondering, how on earth does snow fit into this picture? Head up to the northern reaches of Vietnam, and you'll stumble upon the picturesque town of Sapa, nestled along the border with China. Between the months of December and February, something truly magical happens. Temperatures can plummet below zero, creating the perfect conditions for snowfall. Sapa, with its breathtaking mountainous terrain, transforms into a winter wonderland during this time. The landscape, blanketed in white, is a sight to behold. While snowboarding and sledding aren't as common here, there's no shortage of winter activities to keep you entertained. So, what can you do in Sapa during this snowy season? Well, for starters, embrace your inner child and build a snowman. It's a classic winter pastime that never gets old. If you're in the mood for some action, why not engage in a friendly snowball fight? Trust me, the laughter and adrenaline rush are absolutely worth it. And of course, there's nothing quite like standing still and watching the snowfall. It's a serene and magical experience that will leave you with memories to cherish. Number two, largest cave in the world. Our destination lies in the breathtaking Phong NHA, Kaibang National Park, 
nestled within the enchanting Quang Bin province of Vietnam. And let me tell you, what we're about to explore is nothing short of a geological marvel. This newly discovered cave system is an absolute behemoth, stretching out over an incredible 5.5 miles in length. Picture this, it's a staggering 650 feet wide, and to top it all off, it reaches an astonishing height of 500 feet. What sets this cave apart from the rest are the jaw-dropping features hidden within. We're talking about more than 150 individual caves, each with its own unique charm. But that's not all. Brace yourselves for a sight that will leave you speechless. A colossal stalagmite that seems to touch the heavens. Trust me, standing before this natural wonder is a humbling experience you won't forget. As if that wasn't enough, within this subterranean wonderland, you'll find entire fields of prehistoric algae, painting the cave with vibrant hues that seem to defy time itself. And if that's not enough to ignite your sense of wonder, there's something even more mesmerizing. The presence of rare cave pearls, scattered like precious gems, adding an otherworldly sparkle to this already magical place. While some argue if this is truly the world's largest cave, there's no denying that it is an absolute marvel that deserves every bit of attention it gets. The sheer scale and beauty of this cave system are beyond compare. So fellow adventurers, if you ever find yourself in Vietnam, mark this down on your must-see list. Trust me, it's an experience that will leave you in awe of the wonders our planet holds. Number three, teachers are highly respected. One of the most remarkable things is the existence of a dedicated day to honor teachers in Vietnam. It's called Vietnamese Teacher Day, and it falls on the 20th of November every year. This day is all about showing gratitude and respect to those who have dedicated their lives to education. The celebrations on Vietnamese Teacher Day are nothing short of spectacular. Schools all across the country come alive with vibrant activities. Picture this, students singing, dancing, reciting poems, engaging in sports, and even setting up exhibitions. It's a day filled with joy, appreciation, and a whole lot of fun. But it doesn't stop at the school gates. Here's where it gets even more heartwarming. Alumni or former students often join in the celebrations. They bring flowers and thoughtful gifts, and some even go the extra mile by visiting their former teachers at their homes. It's a beautiful way to reconnect and express their deep appreciation. Number four, incredible diversity of Vietnamese ethnic groups. When we talk about Vietnam, most of us immediately think of the Vietnamese people, also known as the Kin. They make up about 86% of the population and primarily call the deltas and coastal provinces their home. Vietnam is actually home to a whopping 54 officially recognized ethnic groups. That's right, each with its own unique language, traditions, and way of life. Let's take a moment to appreciate the vibrant tapestry of cultures that call this beautiful country home. Let's shift our focus to the remaining 14%, roughly 8.5 million people, who belong to various ethnic minority groups. These communities are spread out across the mountainous and highland areas from the north to the south. These minority groups, though diverse among themselves, share some common challenges. They often face limited access to basic infrastructure, healthcare services, and educational facilities. Despite these hurdles, they've forged unique and resilient ways of life, deeply connected to the land they inhabit. Agriculture is the lifeblood of these ethnic minority communities. They rely heavily on farming, cultivating the land with ancient techniques passed down through generations. It's awe-inspiring to witness the intimate relationship they have with nature. Their contributions to the national economy might be relatively small, but their cultural wealth is immeasurable. It's through their customs, music, dances, and intricate crafts that they enrich the broader Vietnamese society. From the Hmong in the north, renowned for their vibrant traditional attire, to the Cham in the south, with their unique customs and ancient Cham script. It's a mosaic of cultures, each with its own story to tell. So whether you're exploring the terraced rice fields with the Tay people, or marveling at the unique stilt houses of the Ba Na, every corner of Vietnam is steeped in history and culture. Number five, Lotus is national flower of Vietnam. The Lotus was officially crowned as Vietnam's national flower in 2010. And there's a whole world of fascinating facts to uncover about this emblematic bloom. So what makes the Lotus so extraordinary? Well, for starters, 
It's not your typical garden flower. This beauty is an aquatic plant, thriving in muddy ponds across Vietnam. Its leaves are designed with a natural waterproofing, allowing them to effortlessly float on the water's surface. As the lotus grows, something truly magical happens. Its elegant blossoms rise above the water, reaching out for sunlight. And when they bloom, oh boy, do they put on a show. The sight is nothing short of spectacular. And to add to the sensory experience, they emit a gentle, pleasant fragrance that's bound to captivate anyone fortunate enough to catch a whiff. The lotus is more than just a pretty face. It's deeply symbolic in Vietnamese culture. You see, this flower represents pure beauty, untainted by the challenges and struggles it faces in its environment. Imagine a flower that emerges from the mud, yet remains unstained, standing tall and proud. That's the lotus. It mirrors the spirit of the Vietnamese people, who, much like the lotus, rise above adversity with grace and resilience. It's this very resilience that makes the lotus such a fitting symbol for Vietnam. Through wars, challenges, and hardships, the Vietnamese have shown an unwavering determination to showcase their best qualities to the world. The lotus embodies this strength, reminding us all of the incredible power that lies within the human spirit. Number six, interesting unknown facts about coffee. Did you know that Vietnam is the second largest coffee exporter globally, trailing just behind Brazil? This might come as a surprise, but it's true. The story of coffee in Vietnam began in the 1800s when the French introduced it. Initially, production was quite modest, only about 80 tons annually. However, things really took off after the Vietnam War. Fast forward to today, and Vietnam boasts an impressive production capacity of over 1 million tons per year. Let's talk about something truly unique, weasel coffee, also known as Kopi Luwak, or civet coffee. In Vietnam, this is the cream of the crop, with a price tag of about USD 150 per kilogram. It's even earned a spot in the top 10 most expensive coffees worldwide. So what makes weasel coffee so special? It's all about the digestive journey. Believe it or not, weasels play a crucial role, they consume the coffee fruit, and thanks to a thin silk membrane, the beans survive the journey through their digestive system. After this curious process, the beans are collected from the animal's droppings. The result? Coffee beans with an unbelievably aromatic profile, boasting hints of vanilla and a surprisingly sweet taste. While the French introduced coffee to Vietnam, the Vietnamese have put their own spin on this beloved beverage. It's a method that might seem a bit unusual, but trust me, it's absolutely delicious. They take ground coffee and place it into a metal drip filter, which is then positioned atop a cup. Hot water is added and voila. You get to witness the mesmerizing sight of hot coffee slowly dripping into the cup. Many Vietnamese prefer their coffee black with a twist. They add ice and sometimes a touch of condensed milk, creating a refreshing yet robust flavor that's uniquely Vietnamese. Number seven, fun fact about motorbikes. As you step foot in bustling cities like Hanoi or Ho Chi Minh, and what's the first thing that catches your eye? Motorbikes. And when I say they're everywhere, I mean it. With a population of about 98 million people, it's estimated that in 2023, there were a staggering 70 million registered motorbikes in Vietnam. That means there's a motorbike for nearly every other person in this country. Vietnam has solidified its position as one of the world's largest motorbike markets. It's become an integral part of the daily life here. From zipping through the chaotic city streets to navigating the winding roads of the countryside, motorbikes are the heartbeat of transportation in Vietnam. In a country where motorbikes rule the roads, cars are a different story. There are roughly two million cars in use, and they're considered a luxury item for the wealthy. Why, you ask? Well, let me hit you with this. The car tax in Vietnam can skyrocket to a mind-boggling 200 to 300 percent. That's right. Buying and owning a car here is a statement of affluence. Number eight, among the top five happiest countries in the world. You might be wondering, what makes Vietnam so happy? Well, according to the UK-based Happy Planet Index, Vietnam secured the fifth spot in the global happiness rankings back in 2016. That's a remarkable achievement. And it doesn't stop there. In the Asia Pacific region, Vietnam proudly claimed the second position. It's truly heartwarming to see a nation radiating positivity and contentment. When you stroll down the streets of Vietnam, you'll notice an abundance of smiles on the faces of its people. It's infectious, I tell you. Vietnamese folks aren't just happy. 
They're also incredibly optimistic about their economic future. In a survey conducted by Gallup International Association, Vietnam secured the second spot in terms of economic optimism. This shows a deep-seated belief in progress and growth, which is undeniably a driving force behind the nation's overall happiness. The Vietnamese people are full of hope and positivity, and it's a quality that truly sets them apart. Number 9. Legal Drinking Age in Vietnam You know, drinking ages can vary significantly from country to country. In the United States, it's 21. Up north in Canada, it's 19. And over in Europe, you can find places where it's as low as 16. But today, we're setting our sights on Vietnam, where things take a rather unexpected twist. In Vietnam, there's no legal drinking age. You heard me right, no kidding. That's right, you can enjoy a cold one as long as you can get your hands on it. No ID checks, no age restrictions, just pure freedom when it comes to alcohol. Can you believe it? It's not some elaborate joke, it's the real deal. And let me tell you, it's not just some minor quirk. This unique characteristic plays a significant role in shaping Vietnam's drinking culture. In fact, because there's no legal drinking age in Vietnam, it's become the third largest beer consumer in Asia. Yep, you heard me correctly, right behind Japan and China. Each year, they chug down approximately 3 billion liters of beer. Now that's a whole lot of brews. So what's the secret sauce behind this surprising fact? Well, it's a combination of cultural factors, a thriving beer scene, and the absence of strict age regulations. Vietnamese people love their beer, and it's an integral part of their social gatherings and celebrations. Picture this, you're in Vietnam, enjoying some delicious street food, and you wash it down with a fresh, cold beer. It's an experience you won't easily forget. The freedom to enjoy a drink, no matter your age, fosters a sense of community and togetherness. While the absence of a legal drinking age can lead to some concerns, Vietnam manages to strike a balance between responsibility and enjoyment. You'll find that people here generally consume alcohol in moderation, and it's a part of their everyday life. Number 10. Bamboo. Stick. An interesting cultural feature. When you visit the floating markets in Vietnam, you're in for a treat. Among the hustle and bustle, there's one thing that stands out, bamboo sticks. These simple sticks are used in a unique way that will leave you in awe. These bamboo sticks are not just any ordinary sticks, they are used for displaying local products, primarily fruits and vegetables. Picture boats fully loaded with a colorful array of pineapples, mangoes, durians, and so much more. It's like a floating paradise of fresh produce. It's not just fruits though. You'll also find boats adorned with yams, taro, carrots, sweet potatoes, tomatoes, cabbage, sugarcane, and even beautiful flowers. The sight is simply breathtaking, and you can't help but marvel at the vibrancy of it all. You might be wondering about beverages. Well, they're available too. But here's the twist. They're not displayed on the bamboo sticks. That's because drinks like coffee, tea, and coconut juice are a bit too heavy to hang up high. Instead, you'll see them being served from the boats directly. Sometimes, you'll spot bamboo sticks with coconut leaves attached. Now, why on earth are they doing that? Well, in Vietnam, the coconut leaf represents a roof of a house. So, when you see a bamboo stick with coconut leaves, it's like a secret code. It means the boat it's on is for sale. It's like a floating real estate market. How cool is that? And there's one more curious thing you might come across. Bamboo sticks covered with clothes. But hold on, these clothes aren't for sale. No, no. It's just that boat owners probably don't have space to dry their laundry anywhere else, so they use these bamboo sticks as their makeshift drying racks. It's a classic example of practicality in action. So, there you have it, the incredible world of bamboo sticks at Vietnam's floating markets. They're not just sticks, they're storytellers, revealing the diverse products, the availability of beverages, and even the hidden message of this boat is for sale with a simple addition of coconut leaves. And of course, they help the locals keep their clothes fresh and dry. It's amazing how a seemingly ordinary object like a bamboo stick can tell you so much about a culture. Next time you find yourself at a floating market in Vietnam, pay close attention to these sticks. They'll show you a world of surprises. That's a wrap for today's adventure. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more exciting insights into the fascinating culture of Vietnam. Thanks for joining us, and until next time, happy travels.